Good afternoon, oil traders. It is 3.20 p.m. Eastern Time on August 24th, and uh, we've still got about 40 minutes left in trading here, but I'm going to call it for the day. Um, I uh, anticipated a drop, but not as big a drop as we got, and uh, and given the, uh, the rebound, the bounce that we got, I think a lot of people thought that it was too much um, for today. So what happened was, I was waiting for, once we did break below 48, I was expecting a drop to 47.60. Unfortunately, what happened is we touched at 46.64, I think, and uh, basically kind of climbed back up um, to, uh, to at about 47.80, and we kind of held there right up until Europe closed at 11.30. So it kind of sucked waiting and then of course as soon as Europe closed we dropped right past my target so it got executed at 4760 and we dropped all the way down to a low of 4706 uh, at that point I started looking at getting into a long position and uh, I was looking at targeting 4680 so 20 cents below 47 um, which of course never happened um, you know, my consolation prize is I got away with a $653 profit, a 3.8, 3.18% um, return. Uh, so if we take a look at my updated results here, um, it was a nice 19 and a half hour hold, 3.18%, and there's a $653 return there. Um, that was the one from purchased yesterday, August 23rd, and sold today on on the 24th. So uh, the uh, if we take a look at performance. For August, it's looking pretty nice. Um, August is looking at 3.85% uh, and uh, a total of three, almost 3, $3,852. Bucks. So, so far, so good. It's a little below average, but we still got another, um, what, uh, a week left in trading. So, there's still time. Um, it could end up being an above average month. We'll see. Um, but like I said, I'm, I was looking at getting into a long position once we got close to 47 and if we had closed near the lows of the day, I would have gotten in. Um, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with anything 47, 20 or lower. Um, we just didn't hang around there. Um, and uh, where we are now, 47 and a half or above, um, I'm not interested in buying long at that price. Um, we might still go back to 48 tomorrow. Hey, we might go even higher, but uh, I'll just repurchase my short if that happens. Um, otherwise, I'm going to wait to uh, get into a long position closer to 47, hopefully tomorrow, but we'll see. Let me know what you guys did. Uh, hit me up down below on the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio trades and charts. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys ahead of trading tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. here on the East Coast. Until then, good luck. Cheers.